Hi again. Today I'll talk about coupling or combining channels outputs in series and parallel. That's possible with this power supply as with many others who has at least two isolated channels. And in our case we need to take into account that for better performance down programmer circuits is also implemented and down programmer circuits in some cases could generate some undesirable results. The good thing with this power supply is that it has built-in two power relays for combining outputs in series and parallel and in the same time firmware can take care about some issues what I will demonstrate first with channels output connected externally. Let's start with combining them in series. For that we need one cable in between channels output, one is minus to another plus and remaining goes to our load some current is flowing and both channels is still in uh, constant voltage. So far so good. And now we'll continue with different scenario. First I will disconnect load and I will set another voltage. This time something what is very high. In total it's a 70 volt and with the same load we will probably enter constant current mode of operation on the both channel. Yes. But something else is also happened. We can see that output voltage is quite different on each channel. And not, not just that. The first channel is stop sourcing and start sinking current and due to that we have that minus on the output because down programmer it's activated and we can also read some some uh, negative power minus one point something watts and that that it's not good for the down programmer circuits uh, okay maybe one 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 watt it's uh, good but in some other cases it could be much more like uh, several watts up to to 10 watts something like that that is not good for for the in the long run because a down programmer uh, active element it's not equipped with proper heatsink for such huge dissipation. Regardless of that we can safely continue with operation because firmer will measure that negative power and if that power is higher than minus one watt for five or more seconds down programmer on that channel will be switched off. But even without down programmer it's possible that channels continue to sync instead of source current and if that happen firmware will react once again and completely switch off that channel. Now we'll see what will happen in our case. With 70 volts on the output, current which is limited on 1.8 amp, with load it's a little bit more than 16 ohms. Okay. First five seconds. And even without that down programmer something is wrong and firmware completely switched off that channel. So complete power is now sourced from the second channel. But well, it's not so good. So it appears that outputs with down programmers connected in series doesn't work as expected and some more action is needed to manage that in proper way. But we'll continue with connection externally to channel in parallel and see what we can expect in that combination and after that we'll continue with internal circuits for connection and additional algorithm for balancing outputs if connected load required such type of activity. For connection in parallel we need to do we need one more cable. The easiest way is to do something like this. Okay. 
Okay. When we start with both channel activated, again some current flow from one to another channel because down programmer is activated and we can see that, that on the channel 2 it, it is disabled now and now the channel is in much better position. It still, uh, it still sinks some current but it's minimum. Okay, and now we can connect our load and with load it works just fine. Now the total current it's not just one point something but it's around 2 amp because that output is connected in parallel. When we know what we can expect when connecting to power outputs it also have down programmer circuits we can continue and see what will happen when we use special function for coupling to outputs on this power supply. To continue we don't need any of these cables. We have all what is needed inside the box and we'll try to find where is a coupling feature. Channel coupling option could be found on both channel like this again advanced settings and coupling settings we can choose type of coupling let's continue with series there is an additional info screen that two output terminals will be used and here we go and now we have one display for both channel with bigger numbers and we can put some output values and it looks like this okay I can connect my load and see what will happen here is indication that output combined output is powered and we can see that output is in constant current mode. We reach the maximum current. We can continue with values what we have in the first part of the presentation. It was 70 in total and 1.8. Okay. And what will happen now? Because we are in co constant current mode firmware automatically detect some imbalances and try to rectify that by setting a new output voltage which in total it's now only about 50 instead of initially set 70 but that 50 it's good it's more than enough because we need only about 30 volts for 1.8 amp And lastly, we can test everything in a parallel mode. I will use a smaller load, 1 ohm. And again, in settings, under coupling settings, I can go directly and set it in parallel, like this. And here I can, yes, go like 20 amps or can say immediately 8 amp and see how it looks like. Or I can go with small and I don't need to count what is a new total output current. It's displayed here. I just want to show you that in that settings which is now for the both channel there is also some differences for instance we can now see information for both channel this information is particularly interesting and 
some of the option will be locked because it doesn't make sense in, in our current mode of operation coupled parallel. We can also see something like this here and of course in all that menus that additional information will be clearly stated or in main screen we can see how it looks like now also all that limitation and everything it's now a combination of two outputs And that's all about channel coupling. I want to thank you once again for your attention and goodbye.